Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Hope you're doing well. My name's Ollie43, and this is Planet Coaster. So this is my mega park series where we are building insane roller coasters that are actually rideable. As you can see here, every ride has pretty much got a queue for it, I think. That one... Uh, I mean, people are going on this, but there is no queue at the moment. There's a queue there. There's even a queue for this ride, which is definitely, definitely, absolutely bonkers. And, uh, yeah, these, uh, these roller coasters <laughs> are kind of crazy. So today I want to continue the water ride theme and I'm actually going to be building probably the most challenging ride I could build in this park for one reason. And I need to show you what that reason is. So let's go down here into the experiment zone and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Actually, firstly, <laughs> I need to connect up the ride we built on our last episode. <laughs> okay, so quickly added in the cube and look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome ride we built in our last episode. Uh, I forgot actually. 228 miles an hour, 88 average speed. Man, it's quite a ride. Nearly a 9 excitement. That's not that easy to do. And we're going to open it. That is kind of insane. With the top speed of 228 miles an hour, that is what we're building in this park. Just awesome, crazy rides. Anyway, let's get on and show you that uh, thing I was telling you about, <laughs> uh, which is why today's episode is going to be such a challenge. Okay, so I've built a couple of examples of why this is going to be such a challenge. So this is one of my favorite roller coasters in the game. It's a kind of a boat water ride. It's kind of like a log flume, but it's also a roller coaster. It's kind of insane. I love it. It's great. But it's a bit of a problem with it because it's kind of built for this height here. It's not really built for that height over there. Uh, and the difficulty we're going to have is G-Force. So if you look at all these rides, like the bobsled, like look how gradual that curve is. Or uh, let's look at another one. This one, the yellow one here, look how slow <laughs> the curve goes. And the reason why we do that is not just because it looks cool, and it does. But it's because G-Force. If you do anything steeper than that, obviously you're going to start hitting big G's. And at this length here, that would be fine. But imagine <laughs> this ending here, uh, just this right angle, which is like a pre-made thing, at the end of like a drop. It just, it's going to hurt. It's going to really, really hurt. So I need to actually do an experiment to see how much... <laughs> It hurts. But, um, yeah, and it's the same with other pieces. So you could try and kind of do it gradually like this. But at the end, if you're going, say, 200 miles an hour, for example, and you've had this nice, slow, sweeping curve, and then you go into the water, again, it's going to hit you pretty hard. And then, yeah, I just did another example. So we need to do, like, an actual proper test i guess to see if it works uh it's not gonna work <laughs> i don't think so but we need to test i could be completely wrong and you know we need to get the facts straight okay so this is the problem i'm telling you about so i've built like a nice <laughs> slow sweeping curve like this and if i want to go into water this is what i have to build so that's kind of where we're at i can either go like this which isn't too bad but it's pretty drastic or there's this which is really drastic so i'm gonna try and build this here and see how that goes in terms of g-force but i'm pretty certain that this is going to uh it's gonna hurt it's really gonna hurt all right i gotta test this to see if it actually works let's give it a go uh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. Okay, 80, 100. Uh, oh, oh, 180. Here we go. Right, I want to see if I can... Yes, minus 14 Gs, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the problem. All right, slightly new test here. It's the same. It's still going to give us mi minus 14 Gs, but I'm curious to see 
if uh, I can actually make the rest of it work. So let's see here. So we've got 180 miles an hour. And then... Oh, 9 Gs. So it goes minus 14 Gs and then up to 10 Gs. <laughs> it's so much. Whoa. Wow, and that was like... I really expected us to uh, slow down a lot by then, but we did not at all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's try this. I know this is obviously not going to work, but part of me kind of hopes maybe the game will let me build this uh, and keep and like open it. <laughs> I know it's not possible. Okay, maximum G's in three, two, one. Boom. Oh. Look how fast we go. We're going 70 miles an hour on water. That's actually kind of cool. And there we go. Whoo. Nice and slow, boys. Nice and slow. I've uh, put it all back together. I even got a little splash section here. That might be quite fun. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I just want to, it probably won't work, but I mean, a man likes to hope, right? So let's just see how this goes. Uh, the only thing I need to do here is increase the chain lift speeds to the maximum. And also that there. Same with this one. I don't know why it defaults to five miles an hour. It's just so slow. All right, so we've seen this before. <laughs> I like how the fear just keeps going up and up and up. It's good. The excitement's quite high. Doosh. Oh, it's so much fear and nausea. I don't think that's going to work. We might have to do something a little bit more sneaky. See if it works, though. Be good if it does. And a drop. I thought this bit would be quite cool because you could actually sit on the boat. I actually see people come down on the bobsled, but uh, looks like we haven't actually going on anyone going on the bobsled right now. But I thought that'd be cool if that lined up. Oh, we're turning! All right, I actually don't know if this section's gonna work. So yeah, that works. Nice, and then a little splash. See, that might be how we're gonna have to build this ride after we've got to the end of this. So, it'd be so cool if it let me actually use this, though. It's not going to. Oh. <laughs> Maximum G-Force. 13 Gs. Oof. All right. Okay. I've got an idea. So, I'm going to demolish this. Okay. So, my plan this time is to actually do what I did kind of near the end there. So, um, that is to build like a giant u-shape and then have a splash at the end when we've got around like 50 miles an hour left and i need to turn off track supports because we've got the special ollie metal or alloy metal not an alloy it's an alloy and never mind okay so i've built something and unless i'm gonna have to go in the like diagonally across the park uh this will have to do if like if this does even work i it probably won't hang on let me just smoothen this out because it's just hurting my face looking at that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at the speed. 140. Oh no. So we're going... Yeah, this is going to be too much. Look at this. 100 miles now and we're about to turn. You know what, actually? That G-Force wasn't too bad. That actually wasn't too bad. I don't... Th I mean, the fear is horrible, but... Oh, man, that's perfect. So we're going 36 miles an hour, look. Woohoo! <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Okay, so potentially this ride actually might work. <laughs> We've got two insane drops going over 180 miles an hour. Um, wait, that's not even the ride we're looking at. Where is the ride? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm lost. Someone help me. Uh, where were we? Over here. Okay, so this is where we got up to. Massive drop. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little smoothening just in case. Should be fine, but uh, nothing wrong with a cheeky smooth. 
Don't know what that means, but <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, so we go just over the log flume ride here. Pretty awesome. And then pretty similar setup. So we go back up and then into the water that way. And it'll be awesome. And then all the way up to the top through the web of coasters. <laughs> which is the majority of the ride, honestly. There we go. And back to the beginning. All right. So let's test this out and see if it works. And then if it does, we'll ride it in first person view. There it is. <laughs> I left it on five miles an hour. I thought I changed it. Apparently not. But here we go. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Here we go. All right. So the results are in. Hey, well, we can ride it. Okay, so with a little bit of uh, tweaking, just a little bit, not too much, I've rebuilt this ride. Uh, and <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm actually pretty pleased. Uh, so we've got a 6.5 excitement, a 5 fear, and a 2 nausea with a top speed of 185 miles an hour. And the maximum G-force is only 6. Which is pretty good. So, yeah, mission accomplished. Let's ride this in first person view. Guys, if you like this coaster, drop it a thumbs up. And, um, you know, if you haven't already, I always appreciate a new subscriber. So you could be that person today. Anyway, let's go. And go start test. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> this is great. I can't believe this actually worked out. Look at the results, man. It's awesome. Okay. So, this is where I think we hit 185 miles an hour pretty fast. Woohoo! Yep. Nice. Oh, I want to see what this bit's like. I actually felt really smooth compared to what I thought. Oh! Okay, that bit was quite cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Straight back down. I love, by the way, how I've managed to get it close to other rides. Like, look here. Whoa! That's kind of cool. We banked a little bit there. Or at least it felt like we did. I don't know if we actually did. Whoa! Huh. That was dramatic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so... Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Actually, I guess we'll see what it's like going through all this tunnel work here. That's kind of cool. But yeah, awesome ride, awesome roller coaster, and uh, some pretty good results. So, I'm happy.